Hey, this is uh, Chad from Superheroes Den. Uh, one, uh, today I have a few things up for trade and sell, uh, so we'll get started. Um, we'll start with the movies. Uh, I got the original G.I. Joe. And another original Ghostbuster cartoon. A movie called Pump Up the Volume with Christian Slater. Very good movie. I recommend it. Awesome film. <clears throat> Robocop on DVD. That's in good condition. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest on DVD. The second one. Oh, you Pirates of the Caribbean fans. For anybody that's war buff, this is an excellent film. It's based on like stuff that's happening like now in like Iraq and Afghanistan and stuff like that. It's called American Soldier. Very good film. If you ever get a chance to watch it, take a look. It's good, good, good film. Uh, Blood Rain on DVD. It's missing the Blood Rain 2 PC game on the side here. And uh, it's got the other disc here. So. And discs in good shape. But what can you say for a couple dollars that I got it for? Blood ring. Um, doing some games, board games. It's a Marvel trivia game. I'll open it up here real quick so you can. I'll take a gander and what's in here. Got put in backwards. I see. Cards for the trivia. They even came with a, the instruction manual on the bottom here. Uh, that's not going to work. I was going to try to tip it, but it's not going to work. But it's all there. So. Um, got that for trade and sell. So if you're interested, again, here's the back of it. The zombies board game. This is a fun game. Get your friends together. This is all together. It's complete. Everything's in it. Instruction manual. So, you got your figures, your guys, uh, your 
zombies. Your maps. Instruction manual. Dice. So, that's all there. I got a few comics to put up. I just got these, uh, so I didn't get them in really good bags, but. Um, got Wolverine. And this one is 79. Got Wolverine. Guest starring Deadpool. Excellent. If you haven't read this one, oh, it is a read. I loved it. It's 88. Issue 88. Gambit. In his own limited series, issue one. Punisher 2099. Issue one. The Uncanny X-Men. 303. This one's, I haven't read this one in a while, so I don't know too much about that one. The A-Team, it's not in the best of condition, but it's a number two issue. So, the back's kind of corroded a little bit too. But I just got it because I thought it was interesting. Uh, the Invincible Iron Man, number 98. And it's got Sunfire in it. Dark Wolverine. Frank Castle, number 89. Chapter 3, Punishment. Marvel Saga, special X-Men origin issue of uh, Magneto, Professor X, and Cyclops. It's an issue four. Uncanny X-Men, 309. And it's also got the Creator's Choice videos from the X-Men. The funny thing is, I have both of those movies, so if you're interested in those as well, look up my other videos. This one's actually cool. Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher, Heart of Darkness. I love this issue. Absolutely loved it. It was one of my favorite issues as a kid. I wound up having to buy it right away. Just because I always like it. And every time I find one, I pick it up. Just because it's that great of an issue. X-Men number 11. Uncanny X-Men... Number 451, guest starring X-23. Gambit 4, special. Not for resale, if you see. Uh, 
Fantastic Four 247. Not too sure what that white box means inside. The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, one ninety-six. Looks like the death of Aunt May. Er, yeah, May Parker. Wolverine, 189. It's kind of cool. The headstone has Logan on it. And he's coming out of the ground. Uh, what if Wolverine was Lord of the Vampires, number 24? Uncanny X-Men 373 uh, Civil War opening shots X-Men Unlimited, number one, Survival. And that's all I have for today. Um, if you have any interests in any of that stuff, let me know.